Welcome to Vacuum Wars. Today we're going to try to understand the debate about which is the better technology for robot vacuums, LiDAR or VSLAM. But to really get this, we need to go over a brief history of robot vacuums first. The American company iRobot released their first robot vacuum in 2002, and the way it navigated around your house was by using its various sensors in combination with an algorithm to more or less randomly bounce around until it cleaned your house. This random navigation system became the standard method of robot vacuum navigation after that, and it's still widely used today by various manufacturers, including iRobot, at least with their budget robot vacuums. And it's surprisingly efficient at covering large areas, but it is far from perfect, as it obviously is somewhat inefficient, since the robots will inevitably go over the same area multiple times, and they have trouble getting to the entire house on every run. In 2010, Nido released the XV11, which used LiDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging. Basically, it's a spinning, invisible laser that when it spins it can detect very detailed information about the size of the room and any obstacles at the level of the laser like chairs and furniture legs and some obstacles. This was the first true smart robot vacuum in that it made a map of your house and cleaned the house systematically in more or less straight lines instead of randomly. About five years later in 2015 Dyson and iRobot released their take on the smart robot vacuum but instead of using the spinning laser system to map out the house they used a camera mounted on the top of the robot pointed toward the ceiling. This method is called VSLAM, which stands for Visual Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. This camera helped to map the ceiling of the house as well as other landmarks in its field of view, and it accomplished the same basic thing as the LiDAR bots. That is, it mapped the house and allowed it to clean the entire house in systematic, more or less straight lines. Since then, all manner of robot vacuum companies have been releasing smart robot vacuums, some with cameras and some with lasers for their mapping systems. And there are some pretty big differences between these two systems, but companies seem to be sticking with their choices for the most part. So let's look at the pros and cons of each system to see why there are good reasons to choose each one. In many ways, the LiDAR robots are simply more accurate than their VSLAM counterparts because the lasers, which are more or less at ground level, create a very precise map of the rooms. Because of this, and because they have a more clear picture of the obstacles at ground level and thus rely less on their bump sensors, they also tend to be much faster and and more efficient at cleaning rooms. While each robot vacuum is different, we typically see laser-based robots clean rooms about 20 to 30% faster than camera-based robots. They also tend to create the initial map faster than VSLAM. Generally, a laser-based robot will have completed a map after one cleaning, where it may take two or three runs for the camera-based robots to develop its first map. Because of this better accuracy with lasers over cameras, the various app features tend to be better with LiDAR bots as well. For example, Nido, who only offers LiDAR-based robot vacuums, was the first to release the so-called no-go lines feature. This is where you draw lines or boxes on the map in the app, and it keeps the robot from going where you don't want it to go. This app-based feature from Nido was nearly perfectly accurate as soon as it was released. That is, it knew exactly where the quote-unquote lines were in the house and avoided them perfectly. Other manufacturers that used LiDAR almost immediately came out with similar no-go lines features for their robots, and all of them were more or less just as accurate. It was almost two years later that camera-based VSLAM robots started to offer similar features like the no-go lines. iRobot first released their so-called keep-out zones in the summer of 2019, and it's pretty good. Amazing, really, when you consider that it's using a top-mounted camera pointed at the ceiling and essentially creating thousands of virtual points on its map, which it's using to correspond to the lines and boxes drawn in the app. The point I'm trying to make is that it's slightly less accurate than the LiDAR no-go lines, but it's an achievement in its own right, and it's certainly good enough to do what you need it to do, so it's not that big of a deal. Another advantage that LiDAR has over VSLAM is that laser bots don't need the lights to be on in the room to work, whereas the camera bots need lights to be able to see the ceiling and recognize where it is in the house, which is not ideal for several reasons. It should be noted that Dyson has recently come out with a solution to this problem by adding lights around the camera on the robot, which automatically adjust to the brightness level in the room. So you might be saying to yourself, it seems like this LiDAR technology is a no-brainer advantage over VSLAM, but there's a little more to this story. Let's first start off with a minor thing. Laser-based bots have trouble with false barriers, meaning things like bed skirts and curtains, things where other robots would just punch 
through, but LiDAR bots think it's a barrier and so won't attempt to go any further. It's not a big deal, but it could be in certain situations. The main reason that robot vacuum companies are choosing camera-based technology when they do is that it's actually more future-proof than LiDAR in some ways. So what I mean is that as robot vacuums are getting smarter, and they certainly are, robot vacuum companies are starting to equip them with absolutely massive processors these days, but in order to make use of all that processing power, they need more data to work with. And quite simply, cameras can provide so much more data than lasers can. And because the future of robot vacuums might end up moving more towards artificial intelligence, they really need a camera to give it enough data so that they can make increasingly better decisions. One really good example of this is the new D-Bot Osmo 960 from Echovacs. It uses LiDAR for its main navigation, so it gets all the benefits of using a laser for mapping. But instead of using a top-mounted V-SLAM camera, it has a front-facing camera, which is paired with its new artificial intelligence, which they call AIVI, or Artificial Intelligence and Visual Interpretation. This front-facing camera takes in all this visual data, and it's actually the first robot vacuum that can avoid socks and cords and other things too light for the bump sensors to register. For example, see how a normal LiDAR-only robot does on this same test. It's actually one of the only ways I can think of to avoid the very gross problem that robot vacuums have famously had with pet accidents, and you can see how a normal robot vacuum would do in that same circumstance. So, I can see a future where companies will either use the same LiDAR and camera combo, like on the d 960, or perhaps a V-SLAM top-mounted camera paired with a front-mounted camera. But if you ask me which is better, V-SLAM or LiDAR, I would say LiDAR is better right now, but either a combination of both or just cameras will be the future of robot vacuums because cameras can provide more data than lasers can for AI. Links in the description to our review of the DBOT 960, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.